Hey everyone, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm, and here recently, chores have been a little bit different. Um, for kind of a frustrating reason. I'll show you what I mean. See this white smoke? That's not because she's cold. That's a blown head gasket. Or at least I'm about 99% sure that's a blown head gas. So to keep from running the tractor too much, this is what I'm doing. So I have parts on order. I'm just uh, waiting on them to show up. And once they get here, I guess I'll get to do a video about putting a head gasket on a Coyote DK55. So this is how I unload the hay out of the back of the truck. So, here's all the cows, still doing their thing. Yep. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of feeding hay. I'm ready for some green grass. Thick, green grass. That's what I'd like. It's been about a week since we turned the pigs into this little area here for them to plow it up so we can plant some self-harvest uh, forage for them, or self-harvest feed, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, they're really starting to make a dent. <laughs> that's, uh, that's definitely for sure. They're, they're doing a pretty good job at, at getting this all turned over. And, and I definitely need to get that, that head gasket put on the tractor because I am going to have to come back through and, or I don't have to, but I, I want to come back through uh, with uh, uh, the cultivator and, you know, possibly a disc. I don't know. We'll see. And, and kind of uh, smooth the ground out, break it up a little bit more if I have to. Uh, but they've, they've still got some time to work out here. We're not entirely done um, just yet. But uh, once they get this finished, we'll definitely be ready to start doing some seeding 
and and get them get them some feed growing to last hopefully through through the summer anyway you know the tractor being down has well frankly it's kind of gotten me down a little bit lately uh, which <laughs> if you've ever had a piece of equipment that you've come to rely on if you've ever had something like that down I think you could probably understand why it's made it more difficult for me to do chores but it's also forced me to do some thinking about some other things. Unfortunately, there's a lot of folks out there that think in order to farm, you have to spend a whole lot of money on equipment, that you have to be able to be 100% self-sufficient. And, you know, I admire those folks. I admire the folks that are self-sufficient. And if that's something you can do, that's great. Uh, and, and if it's something that you value, you know, you should do that. But if you're just getting started, that's a much more difficult proposition. Uh, spending a lot of money on equipment can swamp you uh, if you're not careful, especially if you have to borrow the money in order to do it. So I just want to share with folks that there's absolutely nothing wrong with having to rely on your neighbors a little bit. There's nothing wrong with having to ask for help from time to time. There's nothing wrong with looking for cheaper alternatives. Uh, whenever I bought this tractor, Again, I bought it because I wanted it. It wasn't something that I needed in order to, to do the things that I'm doing here on my property. I, I wanted this tractor. I liked it. Um, it was used when I bought it, so I didn't pay a new price for it. And, you know, there were a few issues with it. Um, and now I'm gonna have to replace the head gasket. Um, that's just the way things are, especially whenever you buy something that may need a little bit of work. But as I said, there are definitely cheaper alternatives. Uh, one of the things that I could do is I could get a bale spike for my truck. You can look around on classified ads in a lot of different places and you can find a bale spike that will mount to the bed of a, a standard pickup. I'm not talking about a truck with a bale bed or anything like that. Uh, I'm just talking about one of these hydraulic or even hand winch spikes uh, that uses a I don't know, a come along or, or something along those lines in order to feed hay. Uh, there are small carts out there that you can find that you can pull bales of hay around with. Uh, the point is, I want, I want everybody to know that you don't, you don't have to spend a fortune on equipment in order to get started farming. Uh, you know, your, your best investment is going to be on things that help you make money. And for me, that's, that's livestock. This tractor, this tractor is an expense. Um, it does make certain things easier in life, absolutely. It's really nice, uh, as you saw in some of my previous videos, when we have snow on the ground or ice or it's really, really cold, it's really nice to be able to get in the cab and shut the door and turn the heat on and be comfortable, but that's not necessary. We didn't have a tractor like this when I was growing up. In fact, we didn't even have a tractor with a loader on it. Uh, everything was done off of the three-point. Um, and we were feeding a lot more cows. So, you know, these are things that it pays to think about from time to time. It, it makes you really assess what really is important, what you really have to have in order to accomplish your goals. So I guess my point is, if you're thinking about farming, I would encourage you to, well, think outside the box. You don't necessarily have to follow convention. There's a lot of ways to accomplish your goals. and. I would encourage you to find the best ways that work for you. As always, I appreciate you watching and thanks for letting me share my, uh, my two cents here. We'll see you next time.